Hey guys, this is Brittany, and I just wanted to um, post our discussion for our very last video, um, or discussion post together, um, covering all the um, 14 modules and just how we um, have grown through the class and everything. So I just wanted to go through each question um, kind of one by one. So the first one um, was what issues kind of stand out to you as being particularly critical I and mean, worthy of attention and why. Um, I know with the campus sexual assault and with the fraternity piece, um, that that's definitely going to still be something that we um, continue to hear about. Um, I know just this morning I saw um, a case on the news where two young women had come forward at an institution. I wish I could remember the name of the institution, but I can't. Um, that they were suing the institution because they had been raped at an off-site kind of fraternity house. I mean, the, the institution was saying basically that they would not do anything to help these students um, move forward in an action against the students because it was off campus. Um, so I definitely think that's something we're going to continue to hear about, um, especially with the um, fraternity piece and just the legalities around there. Um, because I just feel like even with the media, we still don't really get the entire story of how the legalities go about as we touched on in class. Um, it even happened with that same story where they were saying that the institution, you know, didn't comment. And that was kind of like a big negative piece when legally they couldn't at that moment. So I just found that interesting to kind of pick up on. Um, college mental health is definitely going to continue to be talked about. It was talked about again with something I saw on the news this morning. I'm with the Princess of Wales. Um, she was talking about the issue of mental health. Um, concerns over in England, and I just think that it's going to continue to grow here in America as well, um, as sadly these tragedies keep on happening. Um, we do need to really, you know, have a dialogue around the mental health issues and how we can better, you know, help these students before it gets to that point. Um, remedial education, I feel like for me, especially um, with community colleges and all the wishes of Obama to continue to give a more open access to students that that's continuing to be a um, issue that we talk and have dialogue around which again is a healthy thing um, will hopefully help in that situation and the student depth um, our module 13 is pretty clear on those statistics that it's just going to continue to be out there because the price of a student going to college is just going to continue to rise that's going to continue to rise and so we're, we're going to continue to hear about that and hopefully you know find kind of a, a medium ground around there sometime soon um, so the second question was how we want to um, continue to follow or work and address these in our professional roles. Um, I know remedial education, I actually did my culminating project on um, developmental education and proposed a case study for Lewisburg College. Um, so I definitely plan to put that in action after that. Um, it was focused in the English developmental education, and so after that I hope to kind of move toward a focus on the mathematic developmental education. So definitely want to continue to do research there, um, continue to help our students as best as we can. I know with the, pardon, with Module 3, um, with the focus we had, big time sports, um, which obviously doesn't match at Lewisburg since we have less than a thousand students. Um, but I definitely learned a lot there just in general, just with sports. Um, and do you want to continue to kind of investigate that because our student athletes are just are some of the the best and brightest they have the, the highest percentage of our honor students and so I definitely want to see how we can better support them and see how we can better help them with the transition um, that they might take into a big-time sport um, position at another institution since we are a two-year college they might transition on into a big big sport um, kind of institution and we want to be able to support that um, and so I definitely want to continue to look into, I mean, really all of these. <laughs> um, I can't really see one that I wouldn't want to, I mean, continue to learn about. I mean, even with our, our latest module on student activism, and we just had a comment at the institution, I feel like last week, um, where a colleague was saying that we have students who um, will talk amongst each other, you know, obviously with the, the new bathroom um, bill. Um, by Pat McCrory that they, they would talk amongst one another and really kind of discuss that but not any real student activism not any you know picketing or going out and, and kind of being active about that and so just really wanting to learn more about that and and more about you know the statistics out there how we can help um, kind of support the students with kind of um, giving voice to their feelings and, and feeling like they have a safe environment to do that um, I just want to continue to learn about all these, which kind of blends into question three. Um, what ways that you feel like you've kind of grown in knowledge through this course? I think it's been especially valuable 
um, to kind of just learn about these issues and be open to different sides. Because I know for me, I haven't been in Greek life. I've done nothing with sports. Um, and so although I know that there are issues, um, I don't necessarily kind of learn about them every day or, or seek out information about them. Um, but I, I really feel now that I'm being more proactive. I'm, I'm wanting to listen to both sides and not necessarily jump on, you know, like that piece with this morning, like, oh, they didn't comment. That is awful. They, what is going on at that institution? You know, with thinking through things of no, at this point, they, they legally can't and they're probably trying to do their best of looking into the situation and kind of just giving both sides kind of like the benefit of the doubt. Um, and, and wanting to know more, being proactive once again, and, and just, you know, learning what I can for the institution and kind of using what I learned to, to kind of better inform um, my, my role at the institution and better inform me as a higher education um, professional growing in my field. Um, so I want to continue to do that, continue to look into these issues and continue to, to learn about those issues. Um, so it's been really, really, really great. And I've loved hearing all of your um, insight. You guys have some amazing comments. So I cannot wait to hear what you have to say about all these modules all together. Um, so I will hear from you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.